Hi, welcome to JN Petronics. Today I am going to introduce you about the semi-automatic stepping machine. This machine is simple, easy to use for industrial and logistic applications for the packaging boxes. To begin with, let's see its demo how it works first. Switch off the device and wait for 30 seconds unless the device gets warm up. As you can see the length of the strap is very small, you can make it bigger by pressing the pin button manually. I'm just putting the box aligned to this inlet and inserting this strap into this inlet. It's done. It's very simple. The whole process is so simple that even a layman can work on this machine without any uh, uh, it's, uh, without any difficulty. As you can see in the control panel, it's hardly a four elements to control this. One is the power on and off. Uh, second one is the length. This length is adjustable up from zero. 5 meters based upon the size of the box. This is the length which will come out at the end of every strapping. Uh, okay, so in this case, it was kept nearly the less than 1 meter, so a less than 1 meter uh, the strap has been out. Okay, uh, the next one is the reset button. This reset button has a uh, very important role in an emergency case if something goes wrong inside the machine, for example, if the convenient belt is, has been broken or any of the uh, switching. Uh, element is not working then uh, by pressing the reset button you can manually do the uh, strapping and the fourth button is the feed button if you want an extra length of the circuit you can uh, bring it out okay so uh, next uh, let's see uh, the function of the reset button how it works okay so uh, for that uh, let us consider in uh, a condition in which uh, uh, a belt has been broken the As you can see inside the machine, it is driven by the electromechanical part. This is an electromagnetic plus gear system. As you can see here, uh, we have the belt. Okay. So uh, now what I am doing is, I am switching out the machine and removing this belt. Okay. Uh, in the real time, it can be uh, broken. Okay. So I am just removing this belt and keeping it outside. Okay, so let's see its performance now without the belt. Switch on the device. Back into this inlet. As you can see, it even works without a belt inside the machine. So, in the worst case, if the belt is not available as a backup at the customer, they can use this functionality we have uh, given into our body. So, it will take a much uh, a bit uh, uh, more time and come to the actual performance of it, but the process will be in the continuation. It will not stop unless the technical person comes and change the belt. And apart from this, there is one more option. Uh, for example, if any one of the switching element, one of the cable is broken, okay, the cable is broken, it's not working. So uh, even we have uh, written a code that it will function without that connection. So in this case you don't have a switch and uh, you don't have any belt here. Okay. It's without a belt and a switch. Let's see. 
As you can see it here, this is strapping roll. We're getting the strap. The moment when we press it, we're getting this roller is getting a uh, roll, and we're getting the strap out. Fine. In addition to that, on board, uh, we have two additional switches, okay, provided for the welding option. For example, if you're using a bigger box, and the box is bigger, and you need an extra time for welding the strap, okay. So we have the four options. This is the zero, one, two, three, okay. The four options will define at how much time it will take to weld the strap properly. If you're using the small box, you can keep this level on a zero, and it will do very quickly. Okay, uh, the welding will happen very quickly. And if the box is very big, you can keep it on the fourth stage. It will take some more time for welding the uh, strap properly based upon the box size. Okay, we have another switch uh, for motor off delay. Uh, as you can see uh, at this point. Okay. Uh, uh, this is especially meant to save the power consumed by the machine by making it off when the operator is not working, even for a few seconds. As you can see presently, uh, the position of the switch, uh, this will uh, keep the machine uh, continuously on even if the operator is not working. If I slide it down, it will be in uh, 60 seconds mode as per the code. Okay, now let's uh, wait for 60 seconds and uh, observe its uh, uh, performance. Uh, So after 60 seconds, the machine should get off. Let's see that. at this point it has completed exactly 60 seconds and making the entire machine off uh, the making the machine off in the sense the induction motor part which is the major element of uh, power consumption in this machine and the rest of the electronic circuit what we have in this is, is still alive it will be controlling the rest of the hardware so now if I uh, press on uh, reset again for the manual control as you can see now it will start working again This delay, uh, this delay of this motor, uh, motor of delay, we can change according to the client's requirement. It's a, it is customizable. I'm just removing this IC to temp and uh, a new point to this. Let's see how it works.
Now the timing has been adjusted for 30 seconds. Now I'm putting back this controller onto the board. Okay. Uh, let's close this. Now, uh, I, I just stopped working on this machine. Uh, it should get stopped after 20 seconds now. See the conveyor, uh, the conveyor belt is off, okay, and the power just got off. Only it's applying power to the switch, okay. And again, if I start working on this. Side, the moment I'm going to put this strap into this, it will start. We have our own uh, master design for this board. We have our own master design of the board. We have our own manufacturing unit for this uh, industrial grade PCBs. Uh, this is one such sample of, uh, of the PCB we have soldered it. Exactly like this. So in future, so in future, if you require uh, any such boards, you can contact us. Uh, can you can contact us directly? Uh, thank you.